Let's go to ABC's David Curley. People were fleeing the shooting. They were escaping to the nearby airport, breaching the airport's fence. And who can blame them? You know, they were just running for their lives there, David. Talk about the chaos, Robin, and that instinct to flee. And if you get a sense of what actually happened here, Mandalay Bay, the hotel, the high rise, is on the southern part of the strip. Right behind it, just to the east, is a large parking lot. That is the venue that was used for the concert. And it was fenced in, so people had to get over that fence. And then if you go just a little bit further east, you are at the fence line to McCarran Airport. And that fence was breached by a lot of these people fleeing the scene, trying to get anywhere away from the venue. They ended up on the airfield at McCarran Airport. Now, the airport immediately ordered a ground stop, partly because the shooting was happening right next to them at the Mandalay Bay, and partly because security had been breached and they had people on the airfield walking around. That lasted for about an hour and a half. About nearly two dozen flights were actually diverted to other airports. That's why you had the quiet that Matt Gutman just reported. There were no planes coming in late at night. Uh, then the airport was resecured and also started operations once again. But Robin, just like the witness you just spoke to a few minutes ago, she took shelter in an airport hangar. They were going anywhere they could go, and the airport is right there next to this area. We can totally understand that, David. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.